Behold the Source Wall. Behind it is the single greatest secret of the universe. This is as far as I dare to go. Hey everyone, welcome back to maybe our last episode of uh, what is this show called Beyond the Source Wall? Um, because we haven't done one of these in a while. Uh, Alex and I, with HBO Max, we were watching a lot of the DC animated stuff. Alex and I will come back to watching shows, but we'll probably primarily do a different show where we watch stuff. And this, if we do anything DC related, we'll just come back and make it a Beyond the Source Wall episode. So today we're going to watch The Suicide Squad, which technically dropped last night. But um, we are now here today, Friday, uh, August 6, 2021, to watch it together. And we hope you guys join us. So in a few minutes, There's we'll count so many of them. Oh, we got to point out that it's the James Gunn Suicide Squad. No, we don't, because there's not another Suicide Squad movie. <laughs> there, there We're no. ignoring it. It's like no, there's, uh, the live-action Avatar movie. There's no, yeah, there's, there's no Warren Bossing say. No, there's just the animated ones, like Assault on Arkham and uh, The Hell to Pay and this one. It's the first live-action Suicide first Squad First live-action. Wow, I wonder how how all these characters are going to look for the first time. It's crazy. Um, it's Finally, right? Finally, we get a movie of a bunch of serial killers teaming up together. Um Finally, kids have someone to look up to. That's what um, I've always wanted. So this one is Murder yes, it's Heroes. Directed, it's directed by James Gunn. I, see, because I said the Suicide Squad, most people will know I'm referring to this one, especially when I said it came out yesterday, and uh, and said today's date. Um, but uh, so for for me, I want to talk before we get into this, our excitement level because I joke. I said the su first Suicide Squad movie doesn't exist. I know there are fans of that movie out there. I am not one of them. Um, that movie is a, a nightmare of a editing mess. And uh, I just did not like the movie at all. And the few t parts I liked in it, I've already forgot about because it's I'd never seen it again after the theater. So um, so this one, I like James Gunn, but to be honest, none of the trailers have really sold me on this movie. Except the one PG-13 trailer, I was like, oh, that, okay, it looks pretty good. But all the red band R-rated ones, I'm like, ugh, is this going to be the humor the whole time? So I that... I'm not so excited for that, but uh, but those are just my thoughts. I'm hoping the movie surprises me and maybe gives me something I'm not expecting. What about you? Wow, I haven't watched any of the trailers because you know I like to go into these. Things. Yes, just you go in blind. Me. I like yeah, I want to go in blind. Um, I think that's more fun with things I know I'm gonna at least have a good chance of enjoying. You know, James Gunn's a talented guy. I like his trauma stuff. I like Slither. I like a lot of the movies he made. Um, obviously, Guardians of the Galaxy. What surprised me? Like he's a writer too. He's written yeah. a lot of good movies. Yeah, Dawn of the Dead. Like he's written a lot of stuff, and he's he's a great writer. So that's what gives me hope about this. But I just feel like the marketing on this has has been off center for me, for me personally. Yeah. But like you said, you haven't been exposed to it. So give me a taste of the humor. What is it like? Just really dark, or is it just no? Absurd? I mean, I, at least in the trailer, it just looks like. Uh, I don't know. Some of it seemed like just dumb frat boy humor, okay. and I was I was kind of surprised by that from James Gunn. I'm like, uh, and then some kinda of it Deadpool is a little bit, but but even more edge lord. Some of it, and I'm kind oh, of oh, like, we're going going deep on on there. But huh? but that's just web. that's just my personal yeah. It's where it's like, look how gross we are, uh, and I'm kind of like, mm. but again, it's sometimes gonna be lots of like gross kills and stuff. And that's scared. fine. One thing I hope this movie does do, which the last movie didn't do, is I hope everyone dies. <laughs> I hope maybe save one or two, but I hope this is just like 20 A people. Getting fest. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, and if I get that, maybe I'll have some fun. So I think that would be fun to do throughout the movie to call out who we think will live and die. See, I don't know. I mean, I, uh, I, I don't want to... Well, you can do that if you want. I, the I, one I, you refuse to recognize. There were characters who were like immediately when they were introduced, you were like, "Oh, they were introduced so their head could explode." Possibly, we'll see. Because I'm, this is normally when we do these, it's a movie I've seen before or one of us has seen before. I think the only time it wasn't is when we watched Mortal Kombat and when we watched uh, the the Zack Snyder's Justice League. I like so how I well those turned out. Yeah, and. <laughs> I I liked I liked Zach's Justice League a little bit. I did not like Mortal Kombat. It was Kombat. fun. Mortal um, Kombat was we quickly went downhill, but we liked Kano. Kano yeah, was the saving it. grace of the film. Kano carried us. Kano was movie. like us in the. We're like okay, Kano saying what we're thinking. Yeah, uh, yeah. I almost didn't have to add commentary because I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah, Kano. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Um, and yes, there will be some swearing in this. You won't see the movie or any footage at all on screen, obviously for copyright reasons. Um, but if you um, do want to watch along, like have our video playing while you watch the movie, that's totally fine. But you're not going to see any footage here. So um, you can have us in the background if you want. But yeah, we'll react however you want to do, man. You know, we can spitball, but we're not going to pause the movie. We're just going to watch it all the way through. And then we'll give you our thoughts on it, our brief thoughts after the movie. Um, so all right, Alex, you ready to go? I'm ready to go. So I'm we're on the. We're starting at like the home screen. Yes, the word says Suicide Squad has Amanda Waller's face. Um, so we're gonna hit play there. In uh, where I'm gonna go three, two, one, and then I'll say play, and we'll play after one. Okay. We'll All right, play, here we go. We'll play on play, correct? You will play on play. Yes. Uh, All right. Three, two, one, play. All right, and it's loading up. Loading up for me as well. Zero. Here we go. Oh, mine's still loading. Right. Zero. Okay. You're good. You seeing uh, the Warner Brother logo? Oh no, mine's like a hope, courage. Alex, I can hear your movie. You can't. I know. You can't yeah, I gotta. I gotta cut the audio. Sorry, <laughs> yeah. the wrong. That's thing. all right. I was. I was like, oh great, it's copyright strike already because Johnny Cash is playing. <laughs> All right. Are you 40 seconds in or roughly? Yeah. Oh, can Alex not hear me now? I think so. Okay. All right. We're off to a great I'm start. I'm seeing it now. Okay. Yeah. He's, uh, we have a. Uh, what, what are you seeing? I'm seeing Michael Rooker bouncing a ball. Okay. And he just bounced it off the wall. Okay, I'm a minute and seven seconds in. Oh, little birdie. All right, so so you're not just getting a reaction. Are you okay, Alex? Yeah, I'm just making sure I'm at the right time code as you. Sorry. Oh. Little bird, are you kidding me? Oh. Really? For no reason? No reason. Oh. West Block. Um, all right. Looks like we already got a team being formed. Holy crap. They're not wasting any time. Yep, we're going. <sighs> God, needle in the brain. Come on, bro. Is that a, That's Yondu, right? Yeah, that's Yandu. Oh, yeah. And there's Robocop. I didn't know that was Robocop. Uh, right? Rick Flagg, the guy who plays Rick Flagg. I think he played Robocop in the remake. All right. Typical quick cuts. <laughs> <laughs> He's scraping off his boot. Ugh, do you step in shit? Yeah, like dog shit or something. Oh, maybe. Maybe human shit? What's he doing? Is that... Oh, that's Pete Davidson. Oh, what is that thing? <laughs> uh, awesome. All right. I like the American flag thing. That's a, I think that's Weasel. I think that they showed a clip of that in the trailer. Um, Blackguard. Mongal. <laughs> Pib Weasel Weasel I, I bet she lives You think Harley does? I bet Harley Quinn lives The most okay. expensive property DC has <laughs> Right But has yet to have a massive success yet <laughs> Except for the cartoon Which is a big hit apparently I mean, and probably her merchandising. Yeah, true. Merchandise-wise, her uh, so far her costume looks pretty good. Um, she kind of looks like the um, Arkham version. She's got like tight leather on with a jacket. I dig it. Yeah. What's TK? I don't know. I don't know. Are you shitting oh. me? These people are betting. <laughs> betting. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh oh, oh, busted. Doing like a Deadpool. <laughs> yeah, they have a Deadpool going. That's that reminds me of um what's that movie? Cabin in the Woods. Oh yeah? Yeah, remember in Cabin in the Woods they all bet on which which teenager or which country might win? Oh yeah, which yeah. I do yeah. remember that. <laughs> That's funny. I think this is the most Jai Courtney's going to speak in this movie. <laughs> TDK. <laughs> Your name's Letters? <laughs> What the? <laughs> Afghan hound. It's a werewolf. <laughs> Jesus, just children? Just, just children. Jeez. He, I guess he doesn't kill adults. <laughs> just are they are they going after children on this mission? I mean, they could. They could be like some possessed kids. Oh man, that's that, that's a James Gunn thing. Sure. Um, you could do uh, what are those the the children from uh, Metal Gear Solid Five? It's like all those kids with guns. That's too real. I think possessed is probably better. Yeah, don't make actual child soldiers. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, like, oh uh, yeah, you're right. That's bad. Can that weasel swim? Why don't they just? I guess fly over find the... out. I was like, why don't they just fly over the land? I guess because they don't have parachutes. Maybe. Couldn't they get them parachutes? Wouldn't that be a planning thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, sure. And how are they like? All right, weasel, oh. get in the water. That's what I mean. He just belly flopped. He just, I, I was like, does he swim? Are we gonna, are we gonna get our first death? You're shitting me. Did the thing die? The weasel just dies. Michael Rooker's trying to save him. Oh well. Okay. Why does she look so she got she's got that scowl down, man? Shit, did we did Weasel die? They just threw an animal into the water. Holy shit. Weasel, alright. You guys better get away from him. Won't his head explode? Yeah, what a bunch of idiots. <laughs> why did he yeah. jump? And why did he jump? <laughs> it looks like they threw him off. <laughs> Man. Echo, get out of there. Come here. Uh, so if anyone wants to know, I'm eating popcorn with M&Ms in them, and Echo smells them, and he's like, give me. Pete loves popcorn as well. Yeah. I, just, I, I can't give it to him, though. It's bad for him. I dropped one piece one time, and now Echo thinks I'm going to give him popcorn every time. And he's like, I've had a taste. Yes, yes. What the hell is happening? What? Oh, he sold them out? Oh! 
Was he shot or did Waller blow his head off? I don't know. God dang. Holy crap. <laughs> Harley's okay. Nope. Oh my god. All right. I'm already pretty much enjoying it. Oh. Oh. oh, that's a good one, too. All right, Boomerang. I take back what I said earlier, Jai Courtney. <laughs> God dang. Go, go, go. Oh, you only had one rocket? That wasn't... Yeah, you are crazy. And she's got a handgun. She's got a handgun. <laughs> she's got like a nine millimeter. <laughs> she's like James Bond. All right. All right. What's he do? Let's. Oh, oh, that's the detachable kid. That's right. I think I saw this in a trailer. Oh God! You can see his bones. What's that gonna do? Was he gonna tickle them? Are you shitting me? What the hell is that? <laughs> you sh maybe you should have. Dude. What, is, what does what this girl do? Oh, oh, this is Mongol's like sister. Mongol's like a big old Superman villain. She's like super strong. Holy crap. Good dang. All right. Oh, there goes Jack Courtney. Oh! Well, I'm waiting for him to nut up. What's he... Oh, my... Dude, what the hell? <laughs> She's on fire. <laughs> Good God. All right. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Wait, he's just going to run? He's going to run? Dude, they're going to blow your brains out. Oh, geez. Oh, here we go. Okay, so they haven't blown anyone's head off yet. So Pete, uh, Pete Davidson must have just got shot in the face. So we're not even going to find out what he does? He's just going to run? I guess so. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Oh. Warner Brothers presents. <laughs> Team two. Dude, there's a team two. Wow. Oh, he looks cool. Is that teeth? Oh, that's teeth on the mask. Yeah, that that's is pretty cool. Skull. That is cool. <laughs> I hope the shark can swim. That's awesome. Oh, Jesus. With, with the spinny cam. Come on. Are you kidding me? <laughs> they're all they're all exchanging their money. Uh, well, the action's fun and over the top. I like that. Um, but uh, um, they're already playing like a bunch of music, like the other one did, which I hated in the other one. I bet. I don't know. I feel like this movie's just now going to be a bunch of. Okay, here's all the dead things we made. Well, I mean, they just killed like everyone that was in the trailers. <laughs> so now I'm like, well, is the rest of the movie like flashback, or is it just 
I don't know. Like, I, I'm kind of curious now. That's funny. Oh, that's, that's that's about, about, Zack Snyder produced this. Sucks about Boomer. I kind of did like him. Boomerang? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I wanted him to show up in the Flash movie, too. Oh, there you go. Three oh, days three earlier. Days earlier. Echo. Stop it. You're not going to get any popcorn. Don't even think about it. Yeah, I feel like, just like the other Suicide Squad movie, we're like, how many minutes in are we? Uh, it's, well, James does, he's kind of known for playing music too anyway. Sure, but I just thought because it wasn't so successful in the last one, they would have tried to avoid it this time around. Um, but... Uh. Holy shit, that's that's Steve Agee. The big guy. Yeah. His voice sounded familiar, but I didn't recognize him till just didn't now. Didn't recognize him? Yeah. Are we going to see him shoot Superman? That would be awesome. That would be a nice flashback. Yeah. Echo. What are you doing, man? I never know what he's doing. He's asleep, so I can just verify that. I feel like I hear water just entering my bedroom because it's raining so hard outside. Just put a bucket and collect it. <laughs> just put a set of bucket down. Watch TV on your watch? Yeah, so his daughter stole a... Oh, like a smart watch or something. Uh, Whoa. Jesus. <laughs> it does other things too. That's a great line. That's a great line. Wow, he's the opposite of uh, Deadshot. Yeah. That's kind of interesting that he went... Oh, shit. Totally opposite. Yeah. Oh, shit. Just stab Amanda Waller in the throat. I don't know how that lady's still alive in DC Comics. Someone someone should have put a bullet in her a long time ago. Yeah, she's like, man, such a hateable character. She is a real monster sometimes. I mean, I know she's dealing with a-holes and villains, but... Um, she just, like, she just is like goes for the throat. Ooh. Oh, speaking of... <laughs> Did not make 
kill Damn. one. That's what, so I'll give her this. Viola Davis, she's a great actress. Um, she, uh, she only raised her voice once in that whole scene. And, and she was telling even, them to stand down. And she, she wasn't even telling him to stand down. She was talking to everyone else in the room. Um, so that's awesome. Like, cause I always love villains that don't raise their voice. That's like old school Star Wars did that. Yeah. Yeah. Where they're just like, some of someone stay raise their voice. Like Vader would like choke them to death. <laughs> what the... <laughs> holy shit <laughs> book read <laughs> <laughs> The book's upside down. <laughs> Whoa. Was that crazy quilt? Who gave her a pencil? Millennials. <laughs> what the? What the? Oh, it went trying to shake his hand. Wow, I. The one things I hope survive the most in this movie are the rats. They're who I'm rooting for. <laughs> what? Hey, that's Calendar Man. Holy shit, that's Calendar Man. That's cool. Oh, hey, there's Weasel. In his last moments. Yes. <laughs> his last moments were, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that the polka dot man had like a head of elector safe around his neck and uh, with a lock system. And I love that they're like, what does he throw polka dots? I'm like, he shit me, he throws polka dots? <laughs> Their outfits are the funny, just really great. <laughs> yeah. I love how colorful like some of them are and just how they clash completely. Yeah. Yeah, because they're not a team. They're just a bunch of like random solo, solo acts, yeah, thrown together. Jesus. After everything we've seen so far in this movie, that's what's making you oh, up in arms. Jotunheim. That's cool. Huh. <laughs> hey, that's Doctor Who. Oh, it's Peter Capaldi, yeah. Huh. What the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Tout en dans zip. <laughs> All right, that was pretty good. Now. Okay, we're back to now. I, I'm not a huge fan of when movies do big flashbacks and then like the bulk of sure. the movie is a flashback. Yeah, I'm glad it's it was a quick one because they were like, they just, I guess they just wanted to jump into the action and then go back and do the introductions. No one has to eat a beach full of dicks. What the fuck? What's happening to him? Oh, dude. The German's dead. Oh, he's alive. What? Because he's Javelin Man. Oh, okay. Oh, he's dead. Dang. Oh, geez. Oh. Oh, dang. So, huh, so team one was just the decoy, huh? Yep, so Amanda Waller just threw away all their lives for nothing. She, yeah, she probably <laughs> knew Weasel couldn't swim. <laughs> What the hell is happening to him? Jesus. Man, he lives up to that name, huh? So what did that thing do on his neck? Did that, like, prevent him from having these rashes? What is his power? Do you know? In the comics, it's not whatever the hell this is, as far as I know. I thought he was just some dude in a polka dot outfit that just got knocked out in one punch every time. You take a shit? The hell did he just do? Oh! Dang, man. What is he shooting him with? It's not even... I mean, it's hurting him, but it ain't killing him. What the hell? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, he was definitely going to eat you. Whoa, whoa. 
How many rats are on this island? Holy cow. I mean, rats are everywhere. <laughs> I guess, but Jesus. Why is he? Jesus, look at dick and balls over here. <laughs> Jesus, they did a close up of his dick. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Why is he in his underwear? <laughs> All right. <laughs> She's going he's going to eat her. You think so? I think so. I think he's going to eat someone for sure. Ah, okay. I was like, I was like, if they have bombs in their head, you must be able to trace them somehow. Nice. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Echo just got a second piece of popcorn. Oh, that's adorable. Enjoy. My fat fingers dropped it. That doesn't mean you get more. <laughs> He's like right next to me looking up at me like, it was good, Dad. It had butter on Hola. it. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I think that exchange was in one of the trailers. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> I thought you were the crazy one. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Is the shark sneaking? Yeah, it's doing a good job at it, too. Oh, it's... <laughs> ah, there you go. He ate someone. Nice. That's great. God, he ate him quick, too. Oh. God. Jesus. Does he have wrist gauntlets? What's shooting out? Is that like a slingshot? Why would he... <laughs> would he throw his load at him? Uh, yeah, I don't know. He had something. His... Oh, it is a slingshot. Holy shit. God dang. Did you see John Cena back there? Yeah, just like, just, just whacking that guy. Back. What are these guys just standing there watching? What was, that was a weird cut.
Oh, shit. She's like literally just washing a dish. It's just killing everyone. Are they dying or is that like just like a sleep dart? God dang, it acts fast. God, his accuracy is amazing. Oh, oh, that was a dick. <laughs> that was another dick. This movie's pumping us with D's, man. Oh. Oh, these guys are just showing off. Oh, they're doing... <laughs> yeah, I was wondering. I was like, what's happening? What? Oh. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> What in holy shit? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, he's Rick Flag is fine. Holy shit, they just killed freedom fighters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> wow her whole army of freedom fighters jesus these guys are idiots <laughs> <laughs> Stole the words right out of my mouth, flag. Good God, what a bunch of morons. All right, he's. I, I'm really on board with this movie right now. Yeah, so far this is kind of fun. I mean, it's, God dang, they are, a lot of people have died so far. <laughs> yeah. Freedom fighters, man. Jesus. Jeez. He's like in a jogging suit. That's awesome. Yeah, it's like a, a real Russian mobster vibe. Yeah, right. How did that not make him more angry? Whoa. Whoa.
Hey, possessed people. Hey. You're going to get your wish, maybe. I wasn't wishing for possessed children being murdered. I want to make that clear. Look. Whoa, that's cool. Creepy. It's like an old sci-fi movie. Yeah, I like that. Echo, do you want to meet Starro? Meanwhile, Harley. It's a nice dress. So where does like I wonder in the timeline like um because was the last one takes made? place. Yeah, was it Birds uh, of Prey? Was the last one? Yeah, it was Birds of Prey. Did we see that together? Yes, we saw it with Kevin at the dome. Oh, that's right. You guys liked it, right? I enjoyed it enough. Okay. I've never um, watched it again. Yeah, I've never seen it again either. Um, so what, maybe she got arrested again after Birds of Prey? I mean, none of this timeline stuff makes any sense. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, really. What the hell is she doing? Oh, she's not stepping on the cracks? It's like hopscotching? Yeah. Oh, sorry, dude. John Cena's got about 10 pounds of dick over you. Enjoy that I don't know where this is going in the slightest. <laughs> yeah, because I'm I'm really like, wait, what's this plot point? Like <laughs> Like, does she care about being a princess? I thought she had a thing for poison ivy. Yeah, I did too. Well that's a comic thing. Is it? Okay. I feel like. Well, I guess yeah. Maybe they haven't. She hasn't met her yet in the movies. I'm like, I guess that makes sense. I guess I assume Harley's like Deadpool now, where she just knows the comics too. But I guess that's not the case. <laughs> it's what's happening right now. <laughs> that was a good delivery on that one. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't know his name. I just realized that. 
Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. That's some mean thunder. My, the outside, it went completely white outside, and I could oh, it see. Oh, just lit up. And I could see everything outside. <laughs> Isn't that crazy when that happens? That lightning must be close to you. Oops. <clears throat> I'm still here. My uh, my camera just went out for a second. That's fine. So all his people are big Harley Quinn fans. You are so freaking hot. There we go. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Oh, you're good. Oh man! Oh geez! See the fire, yeah. Yeah. Full on. She had sex with Frank. Echo, stop it. Doesn't she still have a bomb in her head? Yeah, but they can't. I guess they can tell her location, but I guess they can't see what she's doing, which makes sense, I guess. Hmm. Killed all remaining Nazis. Dang. Well, I can't be too mad about that. Yeah, I guess they're not that bad of guys. <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> Cheated a bunch of Nazis. It's not uh -huh. the worst thing you can do to someone. Right. Echo, can you tell... um? God to knock it off outside. It's too much rain. He's had too much Mountain Dew. <laughs> God has? Yeah. Yeah? What's nice. God's doing the dew? He is peeing. <laughs> oh, is. is that? Oh, okay. Rain is Mountain Dew piss? Is God's oh. pee? Holy. Holy shit. She just killed the villain of the movie? Good God, he is really bleeding. What the hell? Jeez. Dang. I, I wasn't expecting that. Again, it's a movie with a lot of turns. They're just like, let's wrap this plot up real quick. Yeah. <laughs> like last, oh, Harley like Quinn's getting thing. married. Oh, okay. Harley, Harley Quinn's back to murdering. Yeah. Jesus. Where'd she get that? <laughs> Dude, we just spent like 10 minutes with that guy giving us the whole villain plot thing and let's kill him. And she just shot him in the chest after she screwed his brains out.
I feel like I recognize this guy from somewhere, his voice, but also the way his mouth moves when he talks. So I don't oh, know I what kind of see that. I don't know I what guess. bad guy he played, but he definitely played one. Oh, he's some... burning down his friends, dead friends, birds. Is he? It seems like it. Is his dead the the Frank the bad guy that Harley slept with? Yeah, I think those were his birds. Oh, geez. Jesus. Well, this movie open with a bird being killed. Uh oh. He's mutating. What? <laughs> Obvious. Norman Bates. What? Jesus. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Yeah. What guys, a lot uh, of work for like just an off joke. Yeah. That was a pure visual joke, but man, that was a, uh, <laughs> they even made her the shark. <laughs> yeah. And she, they put her in John Cena's outfit. I know. I thought that was the best. Dang. Yeah, I was going to say that guy is uh, a. <laughs> that that no, guy was no. acting way too nervous. <laughs> See, <laughs> is that a Henry Cavill joke? That would be great if it was. Can they CGI a mustache onto him? <laughs> that would be great if that happens. <laughs> Can they do a bad and it, job? Like, at it? And it like flickers on and off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
you just say the F word? <laughs> hmm. Oh, they lost their cool suits, man. Yeah, because they're in disguises. Come on. <laughs> they got a fucking shark with them. What do you mean they're in disguise? <laughs> he's, he's crouched. They got a he's shark crawled. with them and a guy who turns into uh, like a disco tech. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> So all this to stop a giant starfish? I mean, starfish are terrifying. I mean, yeah. Aw. Hmm. origin story we caught a rat catcher too i guess that means her dad was rat catcher one. Oh yeah look he's even in the costume from the comic cool where's her gas message she needs to wear his costume that would look cool jesus could you imagine being like uh, if they shot that point? in practical? Like, <laughs> hey, you and this guy are gonna cuddle, and hundreds of rats will descend upon you. Try yeah. to try to continue to look content. <laughs> look like it's a warm blanket brushing over yeah. you. Can you just put a green blanket on me and CGI the rats in, please? Nope, we've trained them already. Yeah. Nope. Sorry. It's more expensive to use actual rats, and we're gonna do it. <laughs> James Gunn really wants practical effect for this scene. So we found several small girls and we're going to descend them in a pit of rats and film it. Did she just say... Did she do nothing wrong? So why is she in jail? Jeez. One of these people are fucked up. Hmm. Oh, she's going to die. <laughs> I think the only person who makes it is like John Cena. Probably. <laughs> Maybe him and Harley Quinn or something. Yeah, him and Harley Quinn, I think, are going to be like yeah. the people who make it from this movie. <laughs> Whoa. Are they like TikTok dancing? What's happening up there? <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. Good boy, Echo. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> God damn, he's chipper. <laughs> he's right though. <laughs> oh, John Cena cares about the rat. The rat's like, "Where's my drink, bro?" <laughs> Yeah, dude. Get you some. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What happens to Polka Dot Man when he drinks? Where's the shark? Is he, like, hanging out outside? I feel bad if he doesn't get to dance and drink with the rest of them. No kidding. There's just a shot of him, like, looking at a window longingly at everyone. <laughs> what is John Cena doing? That's how he dances, apparently. Whoa, people are loving Polka Dot Man. Is he going to, uh-oh. Oh, he's dancing with his moms. <laughs> Jesus, this got weird. Aw. Oh, and what's so? What does the thinker do? Can he read their minds? Does he know they're there to like get him? I think he's just like super smart. Like it just gives him extra capacity, but an extra RAM. Because he he said he could control star the starfish. I mean, I don't know if that's true or not, but he said he could. I mean, I think maybe like through his research, he might know some stuff, but I don't think it's because of his like brain power. Okay. Like, because he's been studying it for 30 years. Mm hmm. Echo. What's up, dude? It's just the thinker. It's okay, handsome. Uh oh. Nobody looks more American than fucking John Cena. <laughs> Whoa. Dang. <laughs> so what are your thoughts so far man i'm enjoying it um i think oh, it's geez. like a fun Oops. uh you sorry I think it's fun so far like yeah. it's it's unexpected it's got kind of like really weird fun uses of power like forcing a rat down someone's throat like that sure um It's a little inventive. Um, I agree. It's uh, it's unexpected in, in fun ways a little bit. Um, it's just, yeah, it's one of those movies that I can't tell you where it's going. And until yeah. it's over, I don't know if I'm going to love it or be like, what was that? Sure. Well, I'm going to guess that that, 
Starro thing with the the babies is going to play a part in the finale. Um, I think so that would too. Make I mean, that makes sense for that to get out. I guess. There's so many like different facets and elements to this, and they're blending very well. Yeah. All right, now kill those three guys with that cigarette, and let's do this. Let's go. Dang. I don't smoke. <laughs> I noticed he wasn't really taking a drag, so. Oh, sh <laughs> dude, I do not want to see John Cena aiming a shotgun at me, <laughs> like, at all, ever. That's amazing. Yeah, I like that this movie is just constantly progressing. It doesn't get stuck anywhere very long. Yeah, and I, I mean, yeah, that's true. Well, I, I kind of like the misdirection at the front of the movie with uh, Team A going in, and then they're yeah, like, Yeah, oh, I, I do okay. too. Yeah, it was kind of fun. It was cool because it really does set it up to be like a whole thing. Right. Dang, is that gonna? I was gonna say if John Cena didn't pull his arm in, that's gonna, that might lop his arm off. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> There's some plot convenience for you. <laughs> John Cena was just so goofy. The shorts are very funny. <laughs> I know. The outfit, like the costuming in that is so great. Because even his shirt doesn't go all the way down. Um so yeah. like a little bit of the bill, a little bit of the stomach is sticking out too. It's yeah, he's it's it's totally too far. He does like a soccer dad, like it's so funny. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb joke, but the fact that they got to explain it to him is what made me laugh. Like that, <laughs> that's good. That is pretty good. Sixty nine. He's like, how'd you get sixty nine soldiers into this? <laughs> Ooh. God, just seeing her toes curl like that is like, ugh. Now, unfortunately,
I've been, I, I've, I think this was the first trailer of the movie. So, on, so I won't say anything, but I think this has been ruined for me, unfortunately. Oh, that's why I don't watch the trailers. That's smart. Cause I honestly, if, if, if what, if it happens the same way that happens in the trailer, I'm going to be like, ah, oh, dang it. I love how he's wearing the helmet with like the dad shorts. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Cutting off her fingers, huh? Hmm. I like the uh, tattoo on her arm. What the hell's he? He's like texting emojis. Yeah. Is he is he writing to Grace Randolph? I've been hearing about her lately. Oh yeah. Who triangle choke? She doesn't uh, have the arm where it needs to be though. Yeah. Hopefully, I mean, she, whoa, okay. Oh, well, that's she, what she needed to do, yeah. yeah. That's a baseball yeah. choke now. That will do it. Yeah, that was the, okay. Oh, his, did you see his head bounce on the ground? No way. Was that real? Maybe it was like a Creed situation. Oh, my God. It was just like, like it was wet. Oh, it sounded awful. Wow. Dang. These aren't like, um, even for a rated R movie, these aren't like comic book people being shot deaths. Like these are where you don't really see the impact. But that yeah. room there was like, that was like full on like 90s action movie head, you know, Squids yeah, it was like a lot of uh, splatter to him. Right. Dang. Nice. Wow. Oh, nice overthrow there. That's a great throw. Ugh. Oh, oh. 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 God. Dang. Just blood pouring out of his face. Oh, this poor guy. God. God. Oh. Dang. Giant gash there. Yeah. What he said. <laughs> God dang, sorry, popcorn came out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Is she shitting flowers? Yep, flower farts. That reminds me, was that Birds of Prey where she was like in the, that was the Birds of Prey, right? She had the police department and there was like, she was dropping smoke bombs and they were like pink and purple. Oh, she got the javelin. It was like pink and purple smoke bombs. Dude. She's, oh, she stabbed through his foot. Wow, this is She's awesome. This is a great scene. This is a really great scene. And I like all, oh, so she's seeing all that because she's nuts. So she's turning this place into like a Disney princess area. Yeah, Disney princess land for her murder. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> Why did they run by like Scooby Doo characters? <laughs> They're gonna come in and everyone's dead. They, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. 
Man, what does James Gunn have against birds? <laughs> He's like aimed right at a woman who's answering a phone. <laughs> yeah. Amazing, yeah. So that was in the that was in the first trailer. Oh, that kind of whole that whole exchange. I'm glad I didn't movie. watch the trailer. Yeah, no kidding, man. Yeah, because that was the fight was not most of the fight was not that fight was really cool. Uh -huh. Hmm. Send in the rats. The rats. The rats are biting all the security camera wires, so all the security cameras are going out. The rats are honestly my favorite part of this movie. I think that's the best power anyone has. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And it's all it's helped them in almost every scenario they've been in. Yeah, the rats are infinitely more useful than, like, anyone else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm eating a, a papaya. <laughs> I like I like Polka Dot Man. I like, I was I like really I them like, all. They're all good characters. I was hoping I'd like Polka Dot Man because um, I like the actor. And I love how it's it's it is a big joke about how John Cena and or Peacemaker and Deadshot have like the same power, right? They're like the same person. Yeah, but John Cena's like, yeah, but I just do everything you do better. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it was when I drove home today. On my way home. Half it's of the way was, like that. it was not no half of it was not raining, and then I went down one stoplight, uh, and then it just started coming down like crazy. <laughs> Shit, fucking weirdo. <laughs> this is a weird light choice. Yeah. So where's like that lady, the freedom fighter? Like, is that story just done now? I think uh, Rick Flag sent her back so she could like uh, protect other people. Okay. He was like, "Why would you risk it all? We're the Suicide Squad." Gotcha. Okay. I might, I might have just, I think I saw that exchange, but I don't, I just don't think I was listening that well. God dang. Oh, Ooh, that's a great shot. That, that was, was an cool awesome one. shot. Does he just have like a machete? Like what is yes. this, a sword? Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I would just shit my pants, right? I'm like, all right, you're going to. Oh. That's great. God, you could just place his head on the retinal scan. <laughs> just jamming his head in there. 
Uh, that was amazing because I was sitting there like I would just crap my pants. I'm like, all right, you're gonna eat me, but you're gonna taste. You're gonna eat my shit, dude. I'm gonna shit all the way down your throat. <laughs> <laughs> what a like. Could you imagine you're like fighting at a war and then you just turn a corner and there's just a giant shark man there? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I would do. A lot, probably a lot of things. Oh, that's why he smashed it. Oh, smart. <laughs> okay, never mind. He just used the guy's head to do it. Yeah, he just used his head to do it, yeah. I was like, is that necessary? It's like, oh, yeah, that was completely necessary. I even love Polka Dot Man's costume. It's so stupid looking. Yeah, it's just like a terrible homemade costume. Yeah, it's like a janitor's outfit. <laughs> it's like a big onesie with dots on it. I mean, come on, guys! Really, you're gonna you're gonna screw up that truck before you get through that door. Yeah. <laughs> what did he do? He made a little like stick man out of the C4. <laughs> I think uh, the shark is Sylvester Stallone's voice, by the way. Yeah, I, I remember that. Yeah. He's doing an I am Groot kind of thing. Kind of, yeah. Oh, whoa, they just left him? <laughs> Good God. I normally wouldn't comment on bouncing boobs, but that was very obvious. <laughs> yeah, it was a little... Like, they led her into the room. Yeah, kind of interesting choice. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, here are your freedom fighters. Oh. Yeah. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I guess they're sneaking in here for some reason. Right. Maybe it's an embassy or something like that. It's a little dirty secret. Dirty little dirty secret. Yeah, nice. For a second there, I was like, oh, there's a button called Dirty Lucy. And I'm like, oh, no, that's just their clever naming of each chapter of the movie. I wonder if he named any of these uh, chapters after, like, um, any of the comic book runs. Oh, my God. Is that really a bunch of Starro possessed children? What? Oh. It is. Damn, Alex. Oh my god. Yeah, you're Nostradamus. Ugh. Did she say he had his way with me? Yeah. Did he fuck the starfish or just the people with starfish heads? I have either, no idea. Either way, it's not cool. I'm oh my god. Why does that guy not have legs? What the hell, man? This is creepy as shit. Wow. That thing got real big. Wow. My God. No, you weren't.
No, man, he's right. Wow. Wow. God dang. He went and changed. He did. Wow. I figured some of that was true, but I mean, like, like leading up to this, I'm like, why would Amanda Waller be? She doesn't care about saving the world. Um, not, I mean, like, yes and no. So. Oh, oh, what? Damn, dude. This is fuck. This is tense. Yeah. I'm with Rick Flag here. Come on, peace peacemaker, don't do this, man. Oh, jeez. Dude, I can't believe your little offhand comment about possessed children at the beginning turned out to be the like the the horrible thing of this movie. Wow. I mean, I feel like I, I get a, I get a gold star. Of. Yeah, you get a gold star for being as awful as America. <laughs> yeah, I mean, geez. <laughs> uh oh. That's so gross. They said he had his way with them. God dang it, man. This, they, ah, God dang. They really went full on reprehensible for a lot of these characters. Dang. Oh, dang. Buddy. Oh. I love how the whole movie, there was no, like, extraterrestrial threat or, right. like, supernatural thing. And this is where we first kind of get it. Right. Well, because that was the thing in the, the last Suicide Squad, right? Like, Amanda Waller was like, was like, uh, we got to be ready for the next Superman, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And here it is. Oh. Oh, he dead. You know, he ain't going to be in Rush Hour 3. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, John Cena got messed up. What, a brick fall on his head? Oh. No way. It's... No! That's a cool shot. Do the fight yeah, in there. That's a fun way to show this fight. Yeah. Yeah, that's well done. I was going to say, I like Rick Flagg, but I feel like John Cena is going to kick the shit out of him in this fight. Yeah, especially since he's also bleeding. Yeah. 
been stabbed. Oh, God. Ooh. Come on, Rick. Come on, Rick. Dang. I hope I hope Rick like throws Peacemaker into like the Starro children. Oh, 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 what do you hit him with? A pipe? Oh yeah, like a broken pipe. Yeah. Good man, good, good. Keep going, man. Stab him through the throat with it. Shit. They well, no, I said stab him through the throat. You ain't strong enough to do this. Should have stabbed him. Come on, hip bump him off. Oh. Oh. Oh no, Dang. Rick. Damn. Damn. Rick Flag, dude. The only guy there that was trying to do the right thing next to yeah. Rat Catcher Girl. Oh. Grab it. Grab it and go. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Well, now if you're going to go try to kill her, you know uh, Idris Elba is not going to play that game. Or uh, maybe her shark friend will help oh. too. That's true too. Jesus. What the hell? Yeah, where the hell's he been this whole time? I was wondering, actually. <laughs> That's right. He was upstairs with the others. I was like, yeah, where, wait, where's Harley? Where's the shark? This is great. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Oh, my goodness. That sucks about Rick Flag. That's I can't believe that. This is such a one-off movie, though. Sure, sure, sure. That's true. Wait, is I'm confused. Isn't he in a tower? Is that just a big fish tank then? It's like an aquarium. Jeez. The thing uh, bad guys spend their money on. Oh, what's that thing? Hey, you think because he's a shark, he can talk to a starfish? Maybe that's the thing. Like, he can communicate better. But the thing can talk through its possessed. Yeah, I guess. What are these things? It mimicked him. That's funny. Um, yeah, you're right. I guess the possessed can talk English or whatever, whatever language it needs to. <laughs> oh, but the tower's about to blow up and kill them, isn't it? Oh, geez. Yeah. Hmm. And that's going to piss him off, I bet, and send him on a rampage. Oh, oh, oh. No. Uh, what's his name? Milton? Oh, oh my God. Hmm. 
That's what those dots do? Yep. We only saw them take down that tower earlier. I just... I didn't know they, like... Like, acid burned through thing. That was crazy. <laughs> Milton. Yeah, it was Milton. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. No, what? Oh. Shoot. Dang. Oh, why it well, blew up early. Now, quick. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wow. This sucks. <laughs> Wow, none of that went to plan. Oh. Oh, they eat. They're piranhas. No, 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 no. Friends don't eat friends. <laughs> oh Oh, this is going to suck. Nobody else has a piranha on them. That's good. No! Aww. Our shark friend. Oh, but no. I bet he's got a little bit left and he, like, bites someone. Oh! Aww. I like shark. Jesus. Yeah, this is not going well. At all. Oh, Harley for the win. Dang it, man. Wait, what? He survived all those bullets? Oh, yep. General's dead. <laughs> How are his eyes doing that? <laughs> this movie's ridiculous. <laughs> they really let James Gunn do whatever he wanted. No kidding, which is so funny because didn't they have like four filmmakers before that they didn't let do anything they wanted? <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure like that was like the stipulation of getting James Gunn. Probably. Where he was just like, yeah, you have to let me do whatever I want. Right. And honestly, he's probably earned plenty of credit to, to ask for that and get it, I guess. Yeah, I feel like that's... James Gunn is someone who... who hasn't screwed the pooch yet. Yeah. Whoa! Good job, Spidey. Oh, shit! His mask is so cool. I don't know about you, but I love that Bloodsport mask. I did think it was as cool as well. 
Yeah, I like the the, the teeth in the front. That's cool looking. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, please tell me he ends up right in front of John Cena. I would love it. That would be awesome. Yep, here he comes. He's actually going to shoot that girl? Are you kidding me? Don't pull that trigger, dude. You do that. Don't do it. Ooh. Which one's better? Which one's better, dude? My God, this is all the Zack Snyder slow mo in one. Whoa. Oh. Right through his bullet. Look at that. That was a good and shot. Even huh? earlier in the movie, John Cena said he uses smaller bullets. Yes. Yep. And he listened. Wow. You think Amanda Waller is going to let them get off that island with that disc? She's going to blow their brains out. <laughs> I'm so glad Shark's okay. And they did fulfill the promise. They killed a lot of the Suicide Squad. Yeah, there's like... well, they, When you start off with 20, that's a good number. Because the last one you started off with like... 10 and like, like two seven guys. or something. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Something silly like that. Yeah. This is the way to go. And plus you, yeah, you use characters that are never going to be put in a movie again. So yeah. we can kill as many, like, like Javelin? Polka Dot Man. Yeah, Javelin. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Polka Dot Man better be in another movie. I love this guy. <laughs> he is very good. I think you think he'll make the sacrifice. I think he'll make the sacrifice. Polka Dot Man. I bet he infects Starro with the cosmic disease. Oh, good idea. Because Starro's like an interdimensional creature, isn't he? He's an extraterrestrial creature. Well, yeah. There's probably. Um, some I don't know if he's from another dimension. I mean, I guess he could be. Um, I guess the the general. I just saw him again. I thought Shark ate his head off. No, he ate a different guy's head off. The general has Look. white hair. That guy had like dark black hair. Now this became an Alex movie. We got a kaiju. Yeah, a kaiju. <laughs> <laughs> seeing seeing an f bomb in uh subtitles is great. Oh wow. Oh shit. This is going to get bad. That's not good at all. No. Well, I just remembered Idris Elba wasn't downstairs. He didn't see the possessed people. Yeah. No one really knows. Yeah. God. So one of the screenings, I think, of this movie, or the premiere, they handed out cardboard stars with the rubber band masks, you know? So oh, and there's hers. No, no, no. Yeah, she's got her... She's got her, uh, she got her gas mask. Yeah, she's got her dad's mask on. No, 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 hardly. No, no, no. <laughs> Jeez, man. This is going to look awesome. When all those guys stand back up, this is going to look awesome, probably. He's like, what did I do?
<laughs> oh, so they do they die? Oh yeah, they die, huh? They don't find a host. The thing shit out like two hundred babies. So what is is dead? Oh, your president. Oh, oh, that's where they went. They're gonna make sure no one else takes over the regime. Oh, you don't call a lady that. It's no way to talk to a lady, Alex. It isn't. Oh. Yep. Oh shit. Yeah, I forgot. These are all the upstairs people, minus Ratcatcher. They don't know what the hell's going on. Yeah, Ratcatcher. She didn't see everything. Yeah, she was. Well, she I guess she didn't see a lot people. of it. Yeah, yeah. But the others didn't. They weren't downstairs. Holy crap. Wow. Oh, they're all screaming. Oh, that's creepy. Dude, they did a great job with Starro. He's like a full-on like 1950s sci-fi monster. This is really good. Wait, what's wrong with all of these guys? Are they taking a nap? Well, they're probably all their systems have been out, so they've just been waiting for him to come back online. But waiting with their heads on the desks? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Steve A.G. <laughs> run dog run Jesus <laughs> people are getting hit by cars oh no Wow, Amanda Waller's a real piece of shit, man. Again, I know she's used to working with bad guys and she has like a little empathy for stuff, but I hope someone puts a bullet in her head. Jeez. Wait, so they're so they were ordered to leave, huh? Hmm. What the <laughs> Stab that thing in the eye. Dude, shove that shove that javelin right through Starro's eye, man. Oh, geez. Please don't work. Please don't work. You better hope these grenades work, Waller, because if they don't, your ass is dead. 
Oh! Whoa, I did not see that coming. Great. I Another thought, great point. Yeah, I, I thought the grenades just weren't going to go off. She hit her with the put, like with the, the putter. putter. <laughs> I love how, like, that's, I'm sure James Gunn was going to, someone in that office would hit her over the head before she they let everyone die. Yeah, I would like to think someone in that office wasn't just a complete piece of crap. Wow. Okay. Good job, James Gunn. I, I didn't see that coming. I run exactly like King Shark. <laughs> I didn't realize that. I'm, you did the mocap? I'm watching him run. I go, damn, that's how I look when I run. <laughs> I'm just my not a 10 foot tall shark. Yeah. My back is hunched. My pants are like down below my belly. Jesus. Where did he get that shit from? Crypt, uh, from uh, Cybertron? Is that the gun he shot Superman with? Because that would make sense. Good God. Dang. Dude. Oh, here it comes. Ooh. Oh, dang. Do it, man. Lead. <laughs> yeah. Go get him, shark. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a giant mom. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, Jesus God. <laughs> oh, my God. They cast the mom perfectly. <laughs> The mom's great. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. That's how he goes? I was hoping he'd get a little bit more damage in. Yeah. I wanted, I thought that was going to be the whole thing. He gets infected by. Right. And then he like unleashes his abilities through all of them or something? Like a chain reaction? Yeah, and, like, kills it, and, like, that's how we died. I thought that was going to be it. Oh, that's a bummer. Shit, dude. God dang. Go, Idris Elba, go. Ooh. It's a real day of the living or night of the living or dawn of the dead vibes. Yeah, yeah. Well, not dawn of the dead because those things ran. Yeah, but like zombie is what I'm saying. Oh. 
Whoa. Cool. I, a rat, rat saved the day. Dude, look at all those rats. Jeez. Man, they brought the right person for the team. Holy cow. Dang, dude. She's like a human starro. God dang how many rats exist in the world. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's like... Oh, a thousand to one, I would think. Probably. I guess so. Especially probably. in cities like this. Hey, there's our buddy with, with the one with the vest on. What was his name? Sebastian. Sebastian. Nice. Great name. Ah, Taika Watiti's her dad. I didn't, notice, I didn't notice that earlier in the flashbacks. It was hard to tell. I think it was kind of meant to be masked. Okay, gotcha. Because it was like in that... Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, that's a great shot. James Gunn's a weird-ass dude, man. Like, yeah, picks up it's... weird characters and he makes you like like them and they're just so weird. Oh, javelin in the eye. Yes, I get my wish. Oh, that's gross. She went right through it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Like, how pretty he makes such a disgusting thing. I know, it's so vile. <laughs> and they're just going to come in and chew on the nerves of his yeah, eye. Rats crawling inside Starro. Oh, God. Oh, you see the tissue just peeling away? Yeah, That's it's so, so well detailed. She's just smiling. It's like when she saw that guy, she said earlier, when she shot him, she's like, I just... You've never looked more beautiful than you do right now with all your yeah, people uh, pouring out of your head. Oh, God. This movie's so gross, but so great at being gross. It's it good at being gross. It's true. Wow. Oh. Oh, it's filling up with blood as I. Oh, that's sad. Good God, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> your face. Your face was so good. You just went. <sighs> oh, man, dude. That was, oh, God. Meta human monster battles Spurs. Hmm. Ah, oh, oh, no. dang! Squished by his mother. I really want a scene where, like, Rat Girl is like walking down the street and he runs into her mother or his mother. Hold on, hold on.
Cool. I hope uh, after they go free, they still release it. Yeah, I think that's hopefully the plan. Yeah. Her team, she's like, yeah, man, nobody likes you anymore. You go too far, Waller. Ah, oh, friend. <laughs> Let the man eat something. Yeah, why can't he eat those? Yeah. Just say, don't eat the head. Yeah, I mean, he was eating the starro earlier. Right. So what happens with the starro's body? Do they, like, torch it so that no one experiments on it anymore? They did a cool cartoon episode once where I think uh, someone took starro and made little tiny starros that were like like a couple inches big and they put them on the back of your necks and they could control you like the mad hatter and batman oh interesting yeah it was pretty neat oh oh that was actually um maybe that was young justice did the rat it's just Silva, yeah yeah sebastian curled up on, on he's going to he's going to pet it <laughs> he's trying to pet it Oh, that would have been funny if it bit him. <laughs> oh. Aw. Oh, Sebastian. I'm glad Sebastian made it. I was really hoping he would. Yeah. All right. And then, oh. Are you kidding me? Weasel's alive? <laughs> uh, we don't know. Yeah, true. Jeez, he's been out that whole time? Haven't they been there for a few days? <laughs> what? what the hell? Okay. Weird. I'll let, we'll let the credits roll in case there's something else. Uh, let's talk about our thoughts for a second. Um, get get laid on me, dude. Overall, I enjoyed it. Uh, I like where it went, and I like. The road it took to get there. Yeah. I laughed a good amount. It was a very, it was a well timed comedic movie and it was very clever. Yeah. Uh, I, enjoy, I th thoroughly enjoyed it. I would say I, 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 one of the top DC movies. What about you? It was, it was more fun than I thought it would be. And the humor, although I didn't find all of it funny, the stuff that was stupid even made me laugh. Cause I'm like, okay, it, that's stupid. But I, that's okay that it's stupid, because <laughs> it's clearly intentionally stupid. Um, there were a lot of things that caught me off guard. I will say, like, I felt like this was one of those movies where it felt like there was multiple plot points, so they didn't like give every like, uh, but not like in a messy way. Earlier, I think I made the comment that it felt like the la uh, the what's the last Star Wars movie called? Um, the end uh, of a franchise. Yeah, Skywalker's uh, so, Rebellion. Oh, yeah, the Sky Rise of Skywalker. Yeah. 
that one felt like a bunch of little plots that they were like, all right, we're here on this planet and we meet Carrie Russell and then now we're off this planet and we meet this person and now we're off this planet and we go do this thing and now we have the knife and we got to do the thing and, and find the Death Star. And it felt like a bunch of little vignettes all sewn together poorly. This yeah. started to feel like that, but then I feel like the the sec middle of the second act onward really started to just focus. Yeah, it started to bring it together. I'd say, yeah, it kind of started out disjointed. Obviously, you have that big opening sequence that ends up not really mad. It's like the introduction of all these characters who die. Um, yes, which is great. And, it, and you have all these sort of like flashbacks that are sort of oddly timed. And that sort of weird Harley Quinn scene where she gets love actually or pretty woman or whatever. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, That I was like, wait, so what's going to happen now? She's going to be in this? And then like they ended that plot and I go, Oh, so that's it. But they ended that character that we thought was going to go on and have a master plan. Um, and then they, but they, what happened there still pay, played into Harley's journey through the rest of the movie. Um, yeah. Cause like, like I said, she, when she's floating in the eyeball, she's smiling the way she was smiling when that guy's head was bleeding out in front of her. Um, and uh, and I also like that she felt like she had a purpose with the javelin. Yeah, she's <laughs> like, like, I know what I have to do. Yes, yes, um, which was awesome. And I'm glad because I was like, please let it be a javelin in the eye. And I'm so glad it was. Um, yeah, I thought, uh, I thought, yeah, I mean, they did a good job making me like the characters, even to the point where I flag was a little generic at times, but. I when he died, I really was like, "Oh, that sucks." I I wish he didn't have to die. Yeah, because he's. I mean, he's really sort of the only. I mean, at that point, he's sort of the only kind of character you root for in the beginning. He's the only one who's who's actually doing this because he wants to help. And he's trying to do a good thing. Yeah, and then when he gets faced with the the conundrum of like, okay, he found out what he's really doing there, and he's like, you know, I'm I'm tired of cleaning up messes for corrupted people. Like, I think it's time the truth came out and the world realized how evil we could get, you know, I guess. Like, and so yeah. I like that that was his thing. Um, John Cena, I can't believe he was like, it killed him and he was going to shoot that girl right in the face, like in cold blood, just to protect I, the, the secret. I liked his character and I think it balanced well with Bloodshot. Like him and yeah. Peacemaker had a nice kind of back and forth. Only one of them would have felt kind of lame, I think. But right. them together sort of playing off each other was a, was a lot of fun. And that whole scene where they kill the rebels by mistake. Yes. Wow. Just, wow. It's such a great little like twist at the end there. It's it's weird because when they do that, it's I would have thought there'd have been some repercussions in some way because you're like, wow, they literally just killed in like people who are trying to yeah, do like 30, good. 30, 40 people, yeah. Right, who are trying to do good. And uh, luckily, she still had other soldiers, but I, I couldn't believe she was like, all right, I guess I'll help you guys. I'm like, they just killed your entire team. Like, yeah. uh, But I think she said some line about like, yeah, I guess I got to make a deal with the devil, even though I don't want to. Um, yeah, something like uh, they killed her whole family, and she's like, what do I got left? She's like, I guess. We're the same as me. She's like, "I we're all just for vengeance. Like, okay. Yeah, but I guess she found more family because there was she was she had a bunch of people with her at the end when she overthrew the government well, I mean, yeah when you overthrow the government you bring more than one sure person. but my my i guess my thing was is like that i understand that's part of the story that peppers out but i also feel like that's a story you probably could have cut um well probably because I, I mean although it was a nice thing at the end to have like oh we liberated our country like that's a nice overall feeling of like okay the suicide squad actually did something good they helped this nation you know yeah. whatever but te technically they did fight back against starro and that's already heroic enough i feel um part of it i think was like having bloodshot be seen in his daughter's eyes is like oh he he freed a country he's not I, just yeah but he is she, you could have still had that broadcast at the end with him without without the whole yeah, destroying starro and saving the world essentially Right. I agree. So so that's what I'm saying. It's like I understand why it's there. It's that extra layer of, hey, they did something good besides just destroy a monster. Um, but it's like, yeah, but by destroying the monster, they also 
prevented more people from being taken over by Starro. So I, I feel like they still, in the end of the day, saved people no matter what. So I don't know. That would have been one of those arguments I would have probably had in the room with them. <laughs> I'd have been like, Tri trim a little. Like, you know, focus more on the characters. We don't need this uh, uprising story as badly as you think we do. Um, but it didn't hurt the movie. Yeah, all. I mean, overall... Again, it felt kind of disjointed at the beginning, and I was like, where is this going? And then it, right. it does come together very nicely. Yeah. Once they start to go save Harley, or like the scene before that, I'm like, oh, yeah. okay, I, I get where this is going now. Well, they kind of did like the first movie. Remember they had that scene where they're all in the bar in the first movie, and that was one of the best scenes in the movie, where they all like right oh, before yeah. the ending. They do that here. They go, I'll go in a bar, and oh. Uh-oh. Oh, dang. <laughs> uh yeah in case you didn't know uh john cena's character peacemaker has a hbo max series coming out by james gunn okay yeah that's kind of cool but i didn't want to say that earlier in case he lived but then when they shot him i was like oh maybe then i was like i still won't maybe say it's a prequel maybe, or something maybe it's a prequel yeah that's what i was thinking um like how he got but, sent to prison yes right well actually he i don't yeah i guess he was in prison at the beginning so yeah i guess that would have been a good story to hear well maybe we'll still see it maybe the the show will be present day flashbacks. flashbacks yeah um well, that was right. fun that was fun movies over and uh any last thoughts on it uh, i i mean i agree with you though overall i had a a much better time watching that than i thought i was gonna yeah i think i thought it was gonna be a little more childish and a little more oh look we made some 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 gross jokes and some really gory scenes but it wasn't, I mean, there was definitely like gory, gross parts, but once you got past that opening scene, it sort of just was a little more sparse. And I think that helped it. It didn't overdo it too much beyond that. I agree. I definitely agree. Um, sweet. What, what's like your final Rat rating? Girl. What's like, that? She's, I like Rat Girl. She's got like the uh, best superpower. I, she, yeah, she was really useful in that movie. Like, I don't know what they could have done on that island without her at all. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like I struggle. Like Wonder Woman couldn't beat Rat Rat. What's her name? Rat Keeper. Rat Guider. Rat Catcher. Rat Mass. Rat Catcher. Rat yeah. Catcher too. Like she could beat Wonder Woman. I bet like Superman would have a tough time fighting all of New York's rats. <laughs> can, yeah, but can rats bite through their skin? Probably not. But they could bite through Lois Lane. <laughs> they could bite through Lois Lane. I mean, the the invisible jet isn't taking off anymore. Sure. Um, the invisible jet. What, what are you going to lasso the truth out of a bunch of rats? I mean, no, but she's like super strength and stuff. Yeah, but I mean... Just squash them. She's not going to squash rats. That's Why not? Oh, is it? When they're trying to eat you? When you're Wonder Woman, yeah. <laughs> it poses uh, no threat. Have you, you seen the last movie? Skin. She sleeps with a guy who is in the wrong body. Oh, yeah, she does do that. Yeah, see, I don't right. think she has a moral compass. I bet Wonder Woman would just be stomping rats. Gal Gadot has no time for... Wonder Woman doesn't have a moral anything. compass. Yeah. Um, what's your overall rating of this? Out of, uh, yeah, I'm going to go one, one, from one to five. Yeah. Man, I'm going four. Okay. Four, maybe 4.25. Okay, all right. I will probably go, uh, I'm a little lower, but like 3.75 to 4. Like, I'm in that range. Oh, okay. Like, uh, we're, yeah. we're within the we're, margin of our... Yeah, we're very close. Like I, yeah, because I know sometimes you and I could be on opposite sides, but this one, I agree. It's close. It's If it's not a 4, it's very close to 1. I'll have to watch it again um, at some point, which this one I'm excited to watch again because the last Suicide Squad I was ready to never watch again. Uh, You're like, oh, great! I can just forget about this. I'm, yeah. I, yeah, it's. I, this was great. This I had a great time with this movie. This was goofy fun, and uh, 
probably fitting. I mean, you know, when when I heard James Gunn was going to do this, I'm like, well, I, I like James Gunn, but he also brings a certain style now to his movies, especially his mainstream movies. So I was worried that this was just going to feel like Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, but they really made a lot of these characters just awful people. Like like Guardians of the Galaxy, they're a bunch of misfits, but they have good hearts. In this one, one or two of them have good hearts. and they're, uh, they're mostly all terrible. They're just awful people. And I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm surprised and also pleasantly surprised they went – they made them that bad, but Waller was really bad, and I'm uh, I'm curious to see if she pops up in the Peacemaker show at all because um, she needs to get hers, man. Like she is really twisted. She's she's too. Yeah, Waller's I, one of those characters that's just like it's a great. You, you know, in Jurassic Park, what's the uh, the the guy who plays Newman on Seinfeld when yes. he's eaten by the raptor? Yes. Like, I feel like she's kind of one of those characters. You just want to see her get eaten by the raptor. Yeah, because I understand she's a, a necessary evil, if you want to call her that. I'll give you that if you're a Amanda Waller fan, you want to defend the character. And I think Viola Davis plays her really well, but she plays oh, her yeah, so well. Oh, yeah, she plays a great, just an amazing villain. <laughs> yeah, she's a, like, she's a you, bad You guy. really love to hate her. She, yeah, she's rough, it's like, uh, it's like the guy who played one of the villains in the Dirty Harry movies for years. He got letters, like, hate mail. Just, right. Uh, uh, people think like people just viewing his, him as the villain. Yeah. Yeah. That's how she is. She's so good at it that I'm just like, God, I hate her, man. I hate her. Uh, I hope they release that footage once they're safe. Like, just like take the bombs out of our head, release us, and then boom, give that give that tape to Lois Lane. Yeah. yeah um, send her a link to the server. Yeah, exactly. Um, awesome, man. Um, all right. Any last words before we go? No, man, that was great. I had a great time. Heck yeah, dude. And uh, we'll try, uh, for those who are watching this, um, like I said, Alex and I will probably be watching other stuff coming up soon and hopefully starting with What If next week. So um, we'll touch base on that and share that with you guys. But if you have any thoughts about this movie, if you watch the whole thing with us, you know, let us know down below. Sorry if there was any dead space between us not talking, but I could tell me and Alex, there was a couple times we were just like, Let's, either oh, shocked or just right. engrossed. Yeah, we were just like, whoa, I can't believe they're doing this. Um, but yeah, if you have any thoughts on this movie, definitely share them with us down below. And uh, yeah, we'll be back soon with uh, more watch throughs with you guys. Thanks. So thanks for joining more us. Movies. Yay. All right, everyone. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you in the future. Peace.